Hello, my name is Tom and this is Dreamcast Magazine issue number 19. This was released on the 22nd of February 2001. Interestingly, it's actually the 21st of February 2017 at the time of recording, so this magazine is pretty much 16 years old to the day, which is pretty uh, pretty eye-opening, really. Uh, I was going to say, there's probably people watching this who are not even as old as this magazine, but let's be honest, nobody's watching this. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is, as I say, issue number 19. I've been through all the other issues previously in my other videos, so go and have a look at those if, you, uh, if you're interested. But uh, let's quickly take a trip through, uh, or down memory lane, should I say, and have a look at what's in this magazine. Uh, hopefully you can see that okay. I've got a, a light propped up over there betwixt two PlayStation 2 consoles. I'm not even joking because I don't actually have a like a, a stand to hold it on. So it's just kind of jammed in between them over there on the, uh, on the table. Uh, okay, first things, first contents and an editorial introduction there from the editor Simon Phillips as always. Moving on, we have a couple of these lovely Cheats Unlimited adverts. Uh, obviously, this is a UK magazine, so if you've never seen this before, that's probably why, if you're living in the States or in Europe. Uh, content pages. Okay, first big story, uh, new newscast even. This is Spider-Man, the cover story, coming to the Dreamcast. It's actually a pretty good part of the PlayStation game, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a fairly decent 3D platformer. Moving on, uh, this is all the, the news kind of stories. So we've got some interesting things here, such as Jet Set Radio and Space Channel 5 sequels confirmed for the Dreamcast. Obviously Space Channel 5 Part 2 did come out for the Dreamcast, but Jet Set Radio Future went to the Xbox. Some interesting stories down here as well. We've got an MSR sequel in the works. Again, that came to the Xbox as Project Gotham. And we've got things like this, uh, Mr. Driller 2 coming for the Dreamcast. Uh, super super bombad racing Star Wars being cancelled, and then this one over here is quite an interesting story. This is about a new arcade game from Capcom based on the Resident Evil series, which was going to be like a light gun game, like a first person. Obviously, since then we've had a couple of first person uh, Resident Evil games, most notably the recent Resident Evil Seven, which uh, is completely first person. Uh, this section here just details some upcoming Dreamcast games that have been confirmed and notable amongst these are again Jet Set Radio 2, uh, Beach Volleyball, uh, Take the Bullet, uh, Virtual Golf which was Dynamic Golf I believe which was cancelled for the Dreamcast anyway and also one here called Far Nation which I previously doing this video wasn't actually familiar with. I did a little bit of googling around and apparently it was an online uh, multi massively multiplayer uh, online RPG that was then moved to the Xbox and then subsequently cancelled. So whether or not it exists in some form or another, I don't know. I can't find any information. There's a little bit of information on the Assembler forums uh, on long dead threads on there, but uh, go and check that out if you're uh, if you're interested. Uh, that's Far Nation. Okay, moving on, we've got some news here about uh, Confidential Mission from Hitmaker and also the first news about a game called Monkey Ball. Obviously, that's, I'm guessing, Super Monkey Ball, which was, again, looked like it may be coming to the Dreamcast, but didn't. And, yeah, some more information here about downloadable content for Fantasy Star Online. Uh, and Sega Gaga being uh, announced there for the uh, Dreamcast in Japan. Uh, this is interesting. This is about the European version of Sega Smash Pack. Uh, the US version came out in this month. So February or January 2001, and this this article here details a European version. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos on my channel, you'll see the one about the Mega Drive emulator disc, and I think that that is somehow linked to this story, how Sega Europe were coming out with their own version of the Smash Pack, but it was going to be called the Sega Mega Drive compilation. So whether or not that video is of an early version or a test version of what this article is talking about, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, well worth uh, checking out that video if you uh, want to go and have a look at it. Okay, more information here about Resident Evil. This is about Resident Evil 4. Uh, it doesn't say that it's coming to the Dreamcast, but they're just kind of speculating that it may do. 
moving on. Pages stuck together. Don't blame me. Uh, <laughs> um, big article here about Sega uh, winding up um, production of the Dreamcast console. Obviously, that happened uh, in March 2001, as we know. And uh, yeah, this is just saying that, you know, don't worry, everyone who's bought a Dreamcast, it's not going away. You know, little did they know at the time that Sega was going to completely exit uh, the uh, the console hardware market. But uh, yeah, this is an interesting article about that subject. Moving on. Sorry if I'm skipping through this very quickly, but the most, you know, pertinent stories, I will scan and put them on the Dreamcast Junkyard blog. And again, I am sorry about that light there. It's kind of shining on on the page. Uh, this is about System Shock 2. There is a build of that around on the internet, a uh, very, very early build. These are clearly from the PC version because the Dreamcast version isn't this complete. It's only like one corridor that you can walk around in. So yeah, System Shock 2. Uh, Shenmue 2. This is interesting. I'd never heard about this before. However, what this article here on the left details is apparently the New York Times in December 2000 ran a story saying that Sega was being bought out by Nintendo uh, and it was taken so seriously that uh, stock or Sega's stock was kind of frozen on the stock market or something so it prompted Sega and Nintendo to both write to the New York Times to demand uh, a retraction be published and that that um, that letter is actually reproduced here from the the head of Sega. I will again put this a scan of this on the Dreamcast Junkyard blog so you can read it. Uh, but yeah, that's really interesting. I'd, I'd never heard of that before, so that's quite an interesting little footnote from the uh, the history of both companies. Uh, moving on, uh, Crazy Taxi film in the works apparently. Obviously, they never saw that come to fruition. And female tennis players in Virtua Tennis Two or Tennis Two K Two. US news, Japanese news, sorry if I'm rushing through this, I've just noticed that the, uh, the the battery warning thing on my camera is like flashing, so I'm trying to get through this before it runs out, so apologies for me just kind of whipping through all this. US news this month, uh, Game Gear being relaunched in the United States for the princely sum of $29.99, that is, which is quite cool. And also over here, Japanese news, uh, Knights and Choo Choo Rocket and Samba Amigo getting uh, Nokia versions for... Uh, the old uh, Nokia 3310 there. I think that's what it is anyway, 3210, can't remember. But uh, yeah, one of the two. And uh, yeah, some mobile games coming for the uh, Japanese mobile user. Uh, yeah, move on, there's nothing else really of importance there. Interview with the model that played one of the characters from Ready to Rumble. And these are more game-specific previews now. So we've got Fighting Vipers 2 and Fire Pro Wrestling D. NBA Hoops, which randomly I did actually play the other day for the first time in about 10 years. Not a big fan of NBA, but I, I gave it a go anyway. 18-wheeler. Uh, Dragon Riders, Chronicles of Pern. Decent European-styled RPG. Daytona USA 2001. That's a big preview. Okay, ATEI, which is an arcade show which happened at Earl's Court in London and this just looks at some of the different games that were on show and gives a kind of a, um, a forecast of whether they think they're going to come to the Dreamcast. Some of these predictions are way off by the way. So you've got Wild Riders, uh, Cosmic Smash and Sega Strike Fighter which is a uh, like an out, out, outrun afterburner type game. Uh, these are all kind of given 65-70% chance of coming to the Dreamcast. Obviously only one did, Cosmic Smash. Uh, then we've got Club Cart, 65% chance, didn't come to the Dreamcast. Sega Sports Jam, a 40% chance of coming to the Dreamcast, we all know it did. Ferrari F355 Challenge 2, didn't come to the Dreamcast. Confidential Mission did. Ertrix didn't. Royal Rumble did. Jump cut there, my girlfriend came in, I didn't want her to shout up at me uh, as she came through the door. So uh, yeah, just a little bit of a look behind the veil that is my life there. Uh, Arctic Thunder. Uh, this gets a, uh, an eighty-five percent chance coming to the Dreamcast. Obviously, didn't EA Sports NASCAR? No EA Sports games came to the Dreamcast, which is a shame because it, you know, could have helped the Dreamcast survive. Planet Harriers again, eighty percent chance coming to the Dreamcast. Didn't. And then on this side, we've got some Vox Pops with people who are actually at the event, just talking about what they uh, what they played. Okay, review section. Main review: Fantasy Star Online gets a huge spread. Two, three, five, six. Well, one, two. 
three, four, five, six page review with a 90% score. Then we've got Grandia 2 gets a, a three page review, which is 91%. Grandia 2 scoring 1% more than Fantasy Star Online, which is uh, controversial. The Vanishing Point, a game I actually quite like, gets 82%. Buzz Light of Star Command, which is kind of like Crash Bandicoot. You just kind of run either away from the screen or toward the screen. That gets 66%. I actually thought it's quite well done. Um, great uh, like uh, voiceover work from the original cast of the film or the, the TV series, which is pretty cool. Uh, 4x4 Evolution, a game which never came out in the UK, but got a review as if it was a PAL version. So that's interesting. 66%. I think it's better than that. Uh, but, uh, you know... Uh, you with the powers that be. F1 Racing Championship, which was a continuation of the Monaco Grand Prix style games from Ubisoft, uh, gets 71%. I wasn't a fan of that one myself. Speed Devils Online, uh, 81%, which was just a rehash of the original game with all the championship mode taken out and online racing added. Uh, championship Surfer, 46%. I remember a couple of years ago, I went into a shop, I went to, I think it was a, the O'Neill shop in Portsmouth, and they had this big display of like random surf dude stuff in the middle of the shop and they had about five sealed copies of Championship Surfer just as part of this display which I thought was a bit random. They weren't for sale, they were just part of the uh, the display in the middle of the shop but that was a quite interesting uh, thing to spot. European Super League, another game I randomly played recently which is terrible, um, just an appalling football game, I hate it. And yeah, now the interact section, we've got reader letters and reader reviews, I won't go through them. Uh, some you know, best websites to visit. And some cheats and guides, questions and answers. A absolutely huge, huge Fantasy Star Online guide. Look at it, it just take, you know, takes up God knows how many uh, pages. And then some uh, Adverts at the back. I, I do like looking at these on the Wayback Machine just to see if any of them are still going. You do get adverts for like for particular games websites. So you've got one here for SegaWeb.com and various like, online retailers. It's worth checking out the um, the Wayback Machine and just seeing if any of these pages are actually uh, catalogued because they are, they are quite interesting sometimes. Look at that monstrosity! The Sega, the, the PlayStation Two Sound Station Two. Wow. Uh, then we've got the directory with the uh, different CD reviews and all the different game kind of roundup. And uh, yeah, there's some tat stuff and nonsense at the back. It's amazing just looking back at the crap that they used to show in these magazines, you know, the stuff you could buy, uh, like lads of gadgets or whatever you want to call them. Uh, some boglins. I know Jim Sterling, who does the uh, Jim Acquisition, has got a bit of a thing for boglins, so that might be of interest to him. Not that he's ever going to watch this video, uh, but yeah, um, interesting. Rubbish there. Did you sell a boggling actually? I, it wasn't a, my brother had a big one we could move the eyes and I had a small one which just put your, your hand in. Uh, but yeah, not much fun to be had with those, I'm afraid. Uh, next month, um, free mystery gift. Next issue doesn't say what it is, and I don't have it, so I don't know what it is. But next month, we've got Commandos 2, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Out Trigger, Soda of Fortune, Sonic Adventure 2, and Matt Hoffman Pro BMX. Back issues. Here's some uh, interesting, do you remember these? You could get these kind of things for your, for your mobile, like little, uh, like this, for your display, like, so like, as you can see there, you get like eyes, or like different symbols, like the Batman symbol, or a Sega symbol, or a footballer kicking a ball, or something stupid like that. Yeah, good old days. Well, no, not the good old days, the bad old days, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's nice to remember them. And then on the last page, we've got the, uh, the dream moment, which is, uh, Something to do with Jet Set Radio there. And yeah, that's issue 19. The next issue is on sale 22nd of March 2001. And on the back, nice big advert there for Giant Killers, which is the only football management game that was released in the UK or in PAL territories. I know there's a Let's Build a Soccer team or something on the Japanese Dreamcast. But uh, yeah, that is issue number 19. I hope you enjoy this little trip down memory lane with my droning voice in the background to aid you on your quest for Dreamcast related knowledge and nonsense. But yeah, thanks very much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll be back with another one quite soon. So yeah, tune in for that. You lucky people. Bye for now.